Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got the Bee Bob out with us. But as I'm sure you would have noticed, there's something a little bit different about this Bee Bob, and that is these. I'm not going to get too close to these spinning motors, but these here, these landing sprigs, see them? They're extended. So there we have a, a lot higher, uh, or it, the quad cup itself is a lot higher when it's sitting, and also means that when it drops down as well, it actually sits a lot uh, a lot higher as well off the ground. Now the reason for that ground clearance could be grass. As you've seen in the summer, the grass here usually gets really, really high, uh, so therefore it is very difficult for me to actually land without cutting the grass. So what a good friend of mine, Heath, You'll find his link to his channel in, in my description. Uh, he 3D prints some fantastic models, fantastic things. And one of the things he's 3D printed are these landing sprigs. Now, I fitted them in a video a couple of weeks ago and only now I've had the chance to come out here and film this and get this up in the air with them. Now, today we've got a wind of six miles an hour hitting directly in the head of this particular quadcopter, uh, meaning that it is going to be quite a shaky flight, but with this gimbal, Fit it, fit it inside the, the, uh, the Bebop, we should have some quite nice video from that. So I've brought my, my smartphone with me and I want to see exactly how this does. So these, these landing sprigs, these add an extra six grams of weight to the overall quadcopter's um, flying weight. And if I just stop her there, a couple of things I want to see. Whenever you add weight to a quad, there's going to be a couple of things that happen. One, the quad may become unstable. Two, flying and cornering may be inaccurate and the quadcopter may wobble as it doesn't understand this extra weight. And, through, and three, it may just be overall unstable when it's holding, when it's moving. Now, as we've got a lot of wind today, obviously you can see the wind is hitting the quad. You can see the quad is at like a, a 30 degree angle as the wind is hitting it side on or front ways on and it's actually blown over the quad and the quad itself is having to right itself. Now, when I fly, the quad doesn't wobble. The quad is as, is as straight with these particular landing sprigs on as it was with the rubber bungs that it had on. Now, if you remember, the rubber bungs were literally about that, th about that big, if that, and they just fitted it. They fitted in through the bottom. There's a little hole uh, where these clip in. Now, by removing those rubber bungs, obviously we've got way to fit these nice little 3D printed parts. So far, it's done quite well. What I want to do though, is I want to land it. So if I land it, perfect. They all landed equally. Not one side was, was, was landing more than the other. Front didn't land first, back didn't land first, sides, it all landed very well. Now let's take off and let's see a bit of grass cutting. There we are. Oh, I'm going to get her a bit high because obviously it's having a bit of issue with this with this wind that we got today. But still, I'm very happy it landed all flat at the same time. If it landed and if it was one favoring one side more than the other, then clearly there's a weight issue. So far, I'm not seeing this issue. Now, it's very difficult to kind of tell if there's a weight issue when you've got wind like this hitting the quad. But this is why I'm going to do a few tests and see how I, how I think this quad is reacting, just from what I am seeing, which is the same as what you were seeing. And I think it's reacting really well. I really do. If I land it again, now it's gone down a bit of a weird angle, simply because of the wind that was hitting it and its, and its course correction. No, motor error. Okay, my fault. There we go, because it was, the grass was blocking it. There we go, back up we go. Again, I'm gonna increase our altitude so that she can actually start holding herself a bit properly there. Again, this wind is quite savage, as you can see it on, on the bebop itself. It's moving around, it's flitting around, and that's not me. See, it's having a bit of a time. It's having a bit of a time. But so far, I'm very happy with how this holds. I'm very happy with how this flies. I'm very happy with the actual course correction of this and the landing and the takeoff. The takeoff is centralized as well. It is, it is perfectly uh, in the center. So you haven't got to worry there about, once again, the takeoff being like the landing and it being one favoring one side more than the other. So I like that. Now, even though this is only six grams, 
the six grams extra weight can do a hell of a lot to a quad as we've seen with some of my cameras i've got a varied range of cameras some of them i put on there uh some of them are hold extremely well others will not even lift some don't even corner properly so having that extra weight is extremely extremely important that you test to make sure the quadcopter can work and this is why, as you see, when I first took it up, I was a way away. I didn't know how it was, go how it was going to react with that extra weight. Right then, let's... See, again, no problem. And then, likewise. See, it doesn't even know it's there. And that's because you've got the power of these brushless motors. If, the, if this was a brushed quad, it would probably... It would probably notice a little bit more than what it actually does for the minute but yeah no problem yaw and roll not a problem turning not a problem you know i'm i'm loving how this is actually holding i think this is holding remarkably well oh low battery alert right then my friends i've got to land this thing so let's land her again this time let's land her on a little bit all right stop vibrating nine percent right okay Wow, this wind has been kicking the crap out of it. Okay, let's click landing. Very good. Very, very good. I could have found a bit more level ground that wasn't actually wobbly. But at the same time, very, very good. Heath, my friend, thank you for doing that for me. This has made a world of difference. And I think even though I'm not going to see the world of difference for the minute, uh, just because the grass is short, well, actually tell I, I did see it because it landed and it didn't have a problem in the two landings the one landing it did because i landed it in quite a quite a big patch like this but um i think when the grass grows properly in the summer i think we're going to see a world of difference with this being able to land and not grass cut in because you get a nice couple of inches there of landing space all right then my friends thanks ever so much for watching and listening uh, i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel, so until next time my friends, happy flying. <laughs>